can you take a holiday away from the popular coastal towns, take the path less travelled and still have a good time? That's what we're looking to answer. G'day folks, welcome to this week's episode, and this time we're in the town of Katanning, said to be WA's most multicultural rural town with over 40 nationalities. The name Katanning, once again nobody seems to know what it means, but guess what, one suggestion is clear pool or sweet water and another idea is meeting place of heads at tribes. While there was farming in the area as far back as 1852, there wasn't a town here till the railway from Perth came here in 1889. Originally the town was a privately owned town till the government bought it in 1896 with the railway line. In 1898 the town was gazetted with a population of 226. As far as what to do, like most towns they have a walking map of the town and lucky here a lot of the old buildings are still around. Katanning is another regional centre for those living in the surrounding farming areas. About 17 kilometres out of town is a small lake about 100 hectares inside, Lake Elubata or something, well I'm going to call it Lake Whatchamacallit, which uh, is popular for swimming, bird watching, water skiing and picnics. Might be a good spot for summer and you can camp out there too, which is what we're going to be doing. For the traveller, there is a parking area for vans down a side street near the rower line, and a great little free camping spot in town with toilet dump and water fill. So Kojana, town was established in uh, 1837 and uh, started having sheep in the area but uh, after a couple of years that didn't go so well because the sheep were dying off because of all the poison weed in the area. And the wool wagon behind me, it's one and a half times bigger than the real ones and it's here to represent how important wool was to the district. All started here in the 1860s and by 1969 they were shearing over a million sheep in the Kojanup Shire and the wagons were used to transport the wool to markets. Now that's a big wheel. Next to the wool wagon is what is listed as a free camp with a toilet dump. But you need to get a permit from the tourist information centre across the road to be able to stay here. The town looked like it was going to become an important regional centre back in the late 1880s. The government decided not to route the Great Southern Railway line along the Albany Highway and consequently Katanning, which was on the railway line, prospered and Kojanup declined. The Kojanup military barracks, built in 1845, is only open on a Sunday but you can ring a number and organise a private viewing. Originally, it was to give a safe rest area to travellers travelling between Perth and Albany till 1880. Since then, it's been a school, a church, 
They've had dances here and even a private house. In 1963, the Shire bought it and now it's part of the National Trust. Just a quick one this week. Join us next week when we take a look at a free campsite at Lake Whatchamacallit. Hit the subscribe button and the bell to make sure you don't miss another video. And the thumbs up because that will help the channel grow. So till next time, happy travels. Thank you.